the issue of obsession with politics is based on one thing, my opinion. A young person in the U.S. is aiming to go to Wall Street, start an app, start a business. Within a few years, he is a millionaire, he is a billionaire. Why? Opportunities are there. The market is there. The level, there is a level playing ground. People appreciate ingenuity. Entrepreneurship is appreciated. That is the thing I want us to have as a clarion call. For Kenya to change, Kenya is not going to be changed by leaders. Kenya is going to be changed by entrepreneurs, economically speaking. The leader can only do policies. After policies, when I do a good policy about agriculture, I cannot go and do agriculture as a leader. I am doing it for the people. When we are doing policies around finance, around tech, it is not me as a leader who should benefit. The benefit is for the people. We must make this attractive. In Africa, if I tell you to be very honest, the people who have why do you want to become a politician? Besides serving the people, because all of us, you especially have your personal ambitions, you'll tell me you find it as a very easy route. You know for what? Because in Africa, you are able to extract political rent, and therefore being a politician becomes one of the factors of production. This has to come to an end. Myself, I advocate even for government literary helping entrepreneurs, literally. If the government was to use government money to support entrepreneurs, as chairman of budget, if I'm told to do that, I would allocate that money tomorrow. Why am I saying so? South Korea, it was not grown, or it never grew out of, yes, there were policies, but the real people who grew it are the owners of Samsung, the owners of Hyundai, and the rest. By being supported by government, the government should just make a way for people to make their money. So it is very easy to come up with an ideology that would governize people. As leaders, our goal must not be to win an election. Our goal must be how to govern. And how to govern is from an MCAC to any other seat because it is through out of that decision making that governance helps. Winning an election is easy. You can do good speeches. You can promise anything. We must be focused on studying on what would change our countries and then domicile our ideologies around those ideas. I hold that wild coin should come back to Kenya. And I am going to put up a fight in all the relevant tables to ensure WorldCoin comes back to Kenya. Because when WorldCoin was here before it was banned, it was only seven shillings. Today, it is 48 shillings. In a year or so, I foresee that WorldCoin going to around 1,000, 2,000 bob. And when we are talking about it seven years from now, when there will be a mentorship like that, and you are the people who will be speaking that mentorship, you remember that it was seven bob when you heard about it and it is 9 million at the time when you are presenting. 